heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31 with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 12 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Jamal Sweet Dream! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Well, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Unable to connect with the right. And there's a takedown attempt. 
Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. That one's the nice strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Sneaky head kick. More clinching. Huge block there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. Straight punch lands. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the review. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Yeah. Nice slip to avoid the left. Just out of range with that strike. And he landed the right hand there. Collar tie stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Oh, huge kick to the body. That can't feel good. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go. Boom! Big jab. Just misses with the straight left hand. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's that shot landed perfectly, and now he's got it in front of Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Just missed with the straight left hand. Taken down by Lou. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. 
and starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.